Bitcoin is now at $30,118 per coin. I think Bitcoin gives some investors hope as an escape route as a financial alternative to some banks. Okay. Now, hold on a second, everybody. David Barnes is Not buying us. my argument. He's laughing like we wouldn't <laughs> believe. Well, we'll get to your explanation and your debunking of Bitcoin in just a moment. Is that okay? That's okay. Just hold your fire, lad. All hold right. your fire. Now, <laughs> the aforementioned David Barnson is with us, and we will get to his Bitcoin takedown shortly. But first, I don't think Biden runs in 2024. Do you? Well, I do not. And I hope you got that opinion from me. I've been sharing it for a while. I I think I'm out on a limb with it, but I have a higher conviction with this than I ever have. Um, It's absolutely unprecedented this late into a term that an incumbent president would not have announced his candidacy, be raising money, be out meeting with people. And I really believe they have a very specific intentional strategy. They hope that they get to run against President Trump. They believe these indictments are drawing the Republican Party more to him, that he ends up being the nominee, and then the Democrats really believe that they'll be fine with whoever ends up yeah. having to fill in. If they end up with a different nominee than Trump, I think that they are then have to fill somebody in. And as I've said on your show before, I really believe they're setting the table for that to be Governor Gavin Newsom of California. President yeah. Biden is too risky to run. That's my opinion. All right. Now you get your 30 seconds or whatever time you wish to debunk Bitcoin and the rally today to 30,000 bucks. Yeah, it doesn't take 30 seconds. Uh, And we don't, you know, the discussion as to why it goes up and why it goes down is a difficult one for me because no, there is no reason. It's a Ponzi. It goes up when everyone wants it to go up. But last year we said, well, there's so high inflation, that's going to make everyone run into Bitcoin. It drops 75%. Now we say, well, the Fed's about to loosen. So that brings speculators back in. So that's what it is, the speculative side. I tend to agree with Warren. There's still no question inflation's coming down. There's no question the Fed will end up loosening. But why should that affect Bitcoin? The reality is it's a speculative investment that can go up or down whatever it wants how people want like all good ponzi schemes quickly on the market i think it just wants to go up and you say well i think that in a free enterprise system profits always want to go up and stocks are supposed to be an encapsulation of expected future profits the problem is that we have other issues we're dealing with economically and there's still uncertainty on the recession front lower beta less risky stocks are doing a little better right now but we're not heading to new lows no we're not No, no, we're not. Gradual up. I believe so. Yeah. All right, David. Thanks very much indeed. Yellen meets with global financial regulators. Important word. Financial regulators meeting them this week. What's her message to them going to be? Nothing to see here. The U.S. banking system is safe. It's sound. Okay, she's supposed to say that. But what about the spillover effects? That's the biggest question. Question causing this tightening of financial conditions. The NFIB just put out a report this morning. 9% of small businesses that get financing said it's harder now to get a loan than it was just a few months ago. That's the highest number since 2012. Could be anecdotal. It could be the start of a trend. Uh, Bonson's laughing. Yeah, let me tell you something. It's higher than 9% in real life. I mean, in the last two weeks, we had the least amount of lending we've had ever. And so I think the credit's absolutely freezing up and small businesses will end up feeling that it'll take longer to work its way through the system. I'd love to ask why Janet Yellen has to explain to the global regulators how we're doing. Why don't they explain to us how they're doing? We've got a new report about the new leadership at FTX and the cause of the FTX collapse. Okay, what's this? Who are they blaming? The management, basically SBF, Sam Bankman Freed. Um, I'm going to quote now from that report from new management, John Ray. He says this management stifled dissent, commingled and misused corporate and customer funds, lied to third parties about their business, joked internally about their tendency to lose track of millions of dollars. So this report slams the hubris, the incompetence of regulating a company of that size. Bonson's laughing again. <laughs> what are they talking about? Regulating what? Who was regulating anything? Nobody. Not, not external regulation, not internal regulation. So I'm glad it took him six months to figure out it was incompetence. Well, there you go. I want to know about dividends. And we have to have the dividend guy with us. His name is David Bonson. He's with me now. Uh, first of all, H&R Block. What does it pay? Why do you like it? And will it keep on paying more? It will definitely keep on paying more. It pays about a 3.5% yield right now. It was up 80% last year when the S&P was down 20. It's come down a little bit from those highs, uh, but they really did a great job right-sizing the business, getting rid of some of their peripheral businesses that were hurting them, and just focusing on tax returns for kind of middle-class people, and it's a great fee-oriented business. They grow the dividend 5% per year. 
Oh, we like that. Uh, 3M. <clears throat> yeah, 3M is a 5.9% yield, so Ooh. it's a high yield. And here's a historical fact. The longest dividend grower in American history. They've been growing the dividend for over 100 years every year. Is that right? That's right. Now, there were some different predecessor companies in the early 20th century. But 3M is in a litigation issue right now. They're going to come out of it. And I think 3M is a great dividend grower. 5.9%. 5. 5. 5. I will take it. David, yes, thanks very much indeed.